Hey garden friends, it's Sarah from Canadian Victory Garden. Thanks for tuning in. So it is early June and as you can see our stockpile of preserved food is getting a little low as happens at this time of year. The first few things that we have coming up in the garden are lettuces and radishes and things like that that aren't really great for preserving especially based on our family preferences, because the key to preserving your harvest and to growing a good harvest is to grow things that you're actually going to eat. So if I were to pickle a bunch of beets, my family would never eat them. They would be here on this shelf for years. We do love tomato products. So we're definitely waiting for summertime for tomatoes season and all of the good things we can get of that. But for right now, let's get some greens on this shelf. So this is where most of the spinach plants are. This is the Olympia variety of spinach and we've grown it a few years in a row now. I find it's really heavily productive in this area. And I also like to let my plants, especially my lettuces and spinach, go to seed. I'm going to try and collect some of these seeds this year to save for next year. But also I just like let them self seed in the garden bed. So then you have volunteer lettuces and spinach growing up next year. And since, like I said, we use that for green mulch underneath of other plants, um, because you know when the tomatoes really get growing and they're big and they're shading your lettuces and your spinach you're actually able to grow lettuce and spinach for longer because they're getting that protection from the tomato. I've got a huge harvest of spinach from the garden. The nice thing about spinach I find is if you plant it in the right spots it will keep producing copious amounts of food for you. So what I'm going to do because we also have a lot of lettuce is dehydrate as much as we can so that when we get to the point around February when we're out of everything, we can still dip into our dehydrated spinach and add it to things like soups and stews and spaghetti sauces and get as much iron as we can in our diet from our greens. So uh, the first step to dehydrating spinach and any green is actually you need to blanch it. I prefer to do a steam blanch rather than a water bath blanch because it's supposed to lock in more nutrients because you're not cooking it for as long when you do a steam um, when you do a steam blanch, you're not immersing in boiling water, so hopefully more of the nutrients are intact. And then we'll take it out, we'll stick it in a water bath, and we will take out as much water as we possibly can, and then run the dehydrator. My book says 12 to 18 hours at 50 degrees Celsius until crisp. If you don't let it get right crisp, then you will probably get moldy food, and it won't keep. So our goal here is to get this to last us through the winter. Well, not this specifically, but get food to last through the winter to prep and store. Okay, that's going already. So what do we need? Steam blanch for three minutes. Steam, steam, steam. Three minutes until leaves go limp. Hot leaves in ice water. All right, so we stopped the cooking. This is all cool off now. I'm gonna spin out as much of the water as I can, and then I will put it onto the dehydrator racks. start the less time it will take to dehydrate them also like leaving everything in a nice thin layer I forget where we got this dehydrator from I'm just gonna get it all set up and then we'll plug it in downstairs out of our way 
since it does need to run for quite a long time. It's been pretty dusty, lots of uh, smoke and smog in the air with all the forest fires. So I made sure to wash the leaves a couple of times before I started cooking them. the trays all loaded up and ready to go I'm going to turn the dehydrator on at the temperature and time settings that I found in my dehydrator cookbook the thing I really like about dehydrating my produce the things that I've grown is that I don't have to keep them in the freezer and depend on electricity to keep my food good so if we were to have some power outages I wouldn't lose all of that hard work so from that big pile I still have quite a bit of spinach left over that didn't fit on my tray which is fine. All I'm going to do is chop it up a little bit and freeze it into cubes. We will end up having some produce that's frozen, some produce that's dehydrated, but one of my goals this year is to try to keep the dehydrator going as much as possible so that we're saving things that way. And then our secondary saving method is by freezer or obviously eating fresh is one of our favorite ways to eat our produce. So it's been 12 hours and our spinach is now crispy and dry and ready to be stored. If your spinach is not crispy, then you just need to dry for a few more hours. Just follow the directions on the recipe. Uh, I have a dehydrating cookbook that I refer to. I'm just going to put these all into a clean dry jar and store them like this. I prefer to use my mason jars for actual canning and save sort of these other jars that we get from other products for things like this. Um, you can store the leaves whole like I'm going to, or you can crumble them up into a powder using like a grinder, like a coffee grinder. Um, you can also dry leaves rather than using a dehydrator and using powder, or sorry, power. Um, you can dry them by laying them out on napkins or on towels. The only problem with that is if your environment is fairly humid, it will take longer to dry. And the longer it takes something to dry, the more likely it is that you'll have some mold or some mildew forming. So... Keep all of that in mind when you're deciding how to do it, but I'm also a huge proponent of using the least amount of resources to preserve your harvest. So that's why we like to do some drying instead of freezing everything, because if we were to lose power for a number of days, we might also lose a good proportion of the harvest that we've put aside in the freezer already. So it's something to keep in mind, especially if you're thinking about things like having uh, all of your hard work stored for use through the winter. And as you can see, I have a huge pile of spinach I harvested today that I need to get this emptied out so I can get my dehydrator going again. <laughs> 